Be sure to check out RCT Cassie, winner of the RCT Free Tosco Quiz of 2015 and enter the Toxic Competition for 2016. Hello and welcome to episode 25 of Let's Play the Ultimate Theme Park 2016 and you may have noticed the title is something a little offbeat for my usual bout of fallout jokes and theme park related stuff because once again I missed my channel's anniversary and this was actually quite a big one because uh, about a week and a half ago so on July 31st that marks the day of five years being on YouTube. Wow it's been a bit of a ride. <laughs> I would say it's been a roller coaster, but right, but that would just be a terrible joke. Uh, speaking of which, I've begun testing for one of my coasters because uh, I need to do some testing with uh, the track first, make sure it's good, and it is. Spoilers, I'm not going to say what track it is. But yeah, so what I decided to do in this episode? Well, I pretty much just did some building work and uh, more cleaning up the downtown, and actually uh, filling in some gaps around the area. So I'm gonna hold off uh, maybe doing a huge, large amount of ground foliage. I mean, I want to have the title Mass Foliage. That will be a thing. And also, yes, anyone asking me, I will keep my custom CU in due course, because I keep, but the problem is I keep adding new stuff. So I have to add like new download links every video, and it will be much easier to just put everything in one place. So I don't know, on the last episode, I've put all the links in the description, or what I might do actually is, I don't know, maybe, Make a page somewhere and then uh, give you with all the links that I give you that. Actually, might as well just do a video description. It'll take a while to do. So that one will take probably a while. There anyway, So what I decided to do here, I actually broke out set. I haven't used it in a while. Uh, this was Dutch's uh, Walls and Paths. Anyone wondering what that set is? It has just a ton of paths. It's brilliant for most things. But for the Apocalypse thing, it's not really uh, the ideal thing. It's a more rustic. I actually think it would. I managed to slot it in quite well though. So here, uh, just to another apartment block, I mean, yeah, I was pretty much just slightly out of ideas what buildings could be at the moment. I mean, I don't know, can't remember the exact specific, but most of the stuff around here is just uh, generally apartments and uh, small shops. So I kind of stuck to that. But yeah, it just do more stuff. So, uh, but yeah, as I, as I learned the title, it's been five years since I created this account. Wow, it's been a bit weird. I don't think I've really started doing Rollercoaster Tekken 3, uh, actually, no, yeah, until late 2011. That was when I got my hands on the demo. Then I got the full version, I've been working with that ever since, so I just... I was trying to think of how it panned out, I did some... I still went a bit crazy first doing, just doing layouts and stuff in 2012. Then, no, yeah, 2012. Then, also in 2012, I did my first theme park. Followed that with one that actually I'd taken off the channel, because I was just getting a load of hate for it, and I was not happy with it. So we did my first ever theme park, that's my case, well god it's awful. Uh, then I did the ultimate theme park, the first one, the first time, which was alright, uh, like it's popular but yeah I don't like, I don't like it. I mean mostly because of what's followed since, so we've had, then 2014 I think was really where I stepped up my game, because I mean we had some really good releases, I really upped the ante on detailing, so we got Obviously, we had uh, the Raven. That was uh, probably my first big uh, invert. We had Emilio Ignis, the first proper theme park. Like, proper, proper theme park. Like, with proper detail. And then, obviously, last year. Well, we all know what went down last year. Ah, <gasps> uh, we'll up. But, yeah. So, five years. And now we're up to here. With the Ultimate Theme Park 2016. So, I don't know what I'm going to call this one yet, actually. Uh, if I can come with some good Fallout themes named... So uh, hit me up in the description. Also, uh, I'm having a bit of a reconsider about my music for the final montage because I was set, but I've had a bit of a rethink and I may change it up a bit because it's still going to have a, remi a remix from me, so that's all set. But I'm debating on the first track, actually. I've got three different ones uh, in the running. So I'm not going to say what they are. Oh. But actually, anyone who saw my a recent Skype post by me will probably have put two together quite quickly. And everyone's just going to on Skype now. And you all looked at it, didn't you? So, but that was just... So, I'm still debating on that. I'm sort of set. I haven't quite made my mind up, though. So here I was just doing our third apartment vlog. I actually finished these much, much quicker than I anticipated. So now I was doing some more detailing and just uh, kind of tidying up some stuff. Because now, now I want to move these highways back a bit because I realised they were probably a bit too close. So I read those. And that was looking much, much better. Then I realised I'd left this, ter this terrain all kind of grey. So 
like the standard section, which is horrendous. Add some more traits. I swear Station Duke Jr. is British. Like, if Sa Station Duke, if you're watching, where are you from? Because, like, I know First Great Western are a British train company. But, wait, are you from the United Kingdom? If so, uh, props. Brit for the win, even though we're fucked by Brexit. Yeah, and this just got political. So here I decided to do another kind of house, similar to the one I did on the other side in uh, uh, the kind of, I think it's Cambridge area. I'm not too good with Boston in real life, I've never been there, I've never done Head of the Charles. I know friends who have done it, it's probably it's a good race. But yeah, I got into this, I decided to do another house in a similar style, so that kind of grey wooden thing. I was going to do it stupid complicated, but then I thought actually, no, that just looks stupid, so I decided to just uh, simple it, simplify it a bit. Sorry. So, yeah, just uh, got the basic shape, and then it was just uh, adding in details. So, but yeah, it was uh, all looking good. So yeah, just more poles, the usual detailing, and uh, so and so and so. So, now actually, uh, what else is there for me to talk about? I'm kind of out of ideas at the moment. But yeah, I still need to click, add in some more buildings around here, because this section of downtown is not complete. Like, how long have I been this going for? I, mean, I honestly don't know. Like, has it been, what, I don't know, 10 episodes? I'm trying to think. No, it's more than 10, because Mass Fusion was episode 12, I swear. Old North Church, I must have done in 10 or 11. Like, Jesus. It has been a long way. Like, I'm pretty sure this is going to be an even bigger series than Volkenda. And as always, I am appreciative of your feedback. I mean, I've already had the sort of usual stuff. I, I keep getting told this series is awesome. And trust me, I cannot freaking wait to do the end montage. I'm going to have so much fun with it. It's going to be brilliant. Trust me on this one. So yeah, here I was wrapping up the road. I wasn't quite sure what to do with this road. I somewhat forgot the full map, and I mean, I know the rough layout, so but I decided to sort of do my own thing with it, because like, I'm pretty sure it doesn't go down that way. I know there's a whole segment of the map that I've missed, like there's a kind of area between Diamond City and the Swamp that I just missed off, but uh, I can't get everything in. If I did, if I wanted to get every single thing in in Fallout 4 to a reasonable scale, I would be using a map that is at least four times the size of this one. Because seriously, like, it, I had to go so big, and I'd probably break Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. So, yeah, it would it would just be a nightmare. So here I was just uh, doing some more uh, rows, uh, kind of break up a bit. Like, using these, actually, park covers was a little bit annoying, because, I mean, this was the best terraforming stuff I could get, but it didn't have all the pieces that I wanted, so that was kind of annoying. So yeah, and then I, it didn't have all the curves and stuff, so I had to sort of uh, mit, get them to uh, sync up, which is very annoying. But yeah, then I just added some more detail. And I honestly don't... Oh yeah, then afterwards I decided to just... Uh, I had a quick look through some new sets I had, and then uh, added in uh, the kind of uh, guard walls that are around Diamond City. Because like, it is actually protected, it's got its own security force, and uh, walls defended by the Minutemen in... Don't quote me on this. I tend to say 2187, but I know that's a Star Wars reference. It might be 2187, I actually can't remember. But yeah, here I was just uh, adding more kind of the uh, entrance fences and guard walks. And obviously uh, the obligatory Diamond City logo. Now I did change this road cur this curve up a bit because I couldn't get the curve piece to fit on the second uh, straight diagonal piece. So I had to uh, shift it around to this so I could actually get it all fit, and then this got annoying. Turns out these pieces don't actually move when you change the terrain, so that's kind of annoying. Now I also did, oh yeah, I did a few more things after this. I had some more foliage, just small trees and stuff, to really start filling out the details. Like, it is uh, it's a busy park, this one. There's a, a lot going on. So then I decided to just uh, do some rock work, actually, because I remember this bit of floor, there's quite a few rocks, and there is a cave which I did add in, which I believe actually leads to Vault 81. I think. I may not have got in quite the right place, but I know this cave that leads to Vault 81. I know this train station is in there in Fallout 4, but honestly, it's, it fits in quite nicely. And there is a station that is just a different sort. But yeah, uh, so I ended the cave that leads to Vault 81, which uh, was uh, definitely a cool 
thing, but right here it's just two more photos. It turns out I didn't actually realize that uh, Weather's Large Rocks had eight textures. I have been using two for the last year. I did, uh, like, touching through, I didn't even know there were eight until I just scrolled down this episode. I legitimately had no idea. Now, this is where Parallax's Fading Tunnels really came in handy. Making the entrance to my cave. I maybe should have made it a bit bigger, actually. In hindsight. Eh, not the end of the world. You can still see us there. So, yeah, here's just uh, adding in more details. Now, uh, regards to upcoming episodes, uh... Maybe next Monday. Well, Sunday maybe, actually. Because, uh, I'm away this weekend of racing in Peterborough. Then, uh... Well, tomorrow I've got to go up to Peterborough and stuff. Anyway, uh, hopefully next episode will be sometime next week when I'm not working on my bicycle. My super fast road bike. So, uh, let me know if you want to see a series on that, actually, if you're still watching. So, yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching this episode. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the series uh, as much as I am. I am aware you will laugh. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode whenever that happens to take place. Uh, goodbye for now. You there. Me? No, you. Follow me on Twitter. Do it!